Did you know that John Hayes Hammond Jr. was on the RCA Board of Directors? If you ever wondered how the inventor was able to afford to construct a huge, gothic-style castle in Gloucester, Massachusetts of all places, that can be answered in three letters. RCA. The Radio Corporation of America was once one of the mightiest technology companies in the world. Its history goes back over 100 years, to its foundation in 1919. It began life as the Marconi Wireless Telegraph Company of America, or American Marconi, named after its founder, Guglielmo Marconi, credited as the inventor of radio, before reorganizing as RCA following the purchase of the previous company by General Electric. Only a few years later, Hammond sold a large collection of his radio patents to RCA in exchange for assets that would enable him to finance the construction of Hammond Castle Museum, which he began in 1926. In that same year, RCA purchased the radio division of AT&T, the company originated by the Bell Telephone Company, founded by Hammond's mentor, Alexander Graham Bell, and along with General Electric, jointly created the National Broadcasting Company, or NBC. Hammond's relationship with RCA led him to a position on its board of directors, on which he sat for the remainder of his life. He also served as a research consultant there. Despite the fact that some sources state that Hammond found his RCA work dull, his tenure with the company saw dramatic growth and technological achievements. During this period, RCA rose to prominence as the largest radio communications company in the United States and expanded into the record industry with its 1929 purchase of the Victor Talking Machine Company, noted for the famous Victrola record players. The company also became a television pioneer, financing the development of both black and white and color televisions. In fact, in 1953, RCA's color TV technology was adopted as the official standard for U.S. television, known as the NTSC format. Furthermore, RCA also developed the standard connector for composite video and stereo audio, those red, white, and yellow cables you've undoubtedly seen or used at some point in your life to connect everything from VCRs to speakers to video game consoles to televisions are often known as RCA connectors and were developed beginning in 1937. By the time of Hammond's death in 1965, RCA had also launched major recording studios as well as the world's first communication satellites. Speaking of his death, it occurred while he was in New York City to attend an RCA board meeting. As for RCA itself, while it still technically exists as a brand, its fortunes did decline beginning in the 1970s, with failed products such as the CED video disc, among other missteps. This led to its reacquisition by GE in 1986, from which it had spun off in 1932, with the brand's current ownership split between different companies. We hope you enjoyed this video, but there's a lot more to explore about John Hayes Hammond Jr., his inventions, and his collection of art and artifacts. We invite you to visit us at Hammond Castle Museum in Gloucester, Massachusetts to learn more.